I always say there's uh, a little over 20 water features here. Our waterfalls are all facing towards Route 1. This was one of the first projects that we built. I think this was probably the second water feature we built. And I always know that Mother's Day is getting close if I'm not looking at my calendar because these Louisiana irises bloom every Mother's Day. This particular is called a shamrock, terribly invasive. Just do it. Lifestyle. So this is home, huh? This is home. This is Virginia Water Guards. We've been here for a little over 15 years. 15 years? Wow. And it's just like an acre and a half, but you got it filled up, huh? Yes. So the stack slate urns out front. I love all the colors. Look at that. Woohoo! Look at that. There's some customers looking at fish. There's the brains. The beauty and the brains. That's right. It's so fun. All right. And then the shop's back here. So just an acre and a half is all you got. Acre and a half. You have really utilized the space good. Every inch of it. found the perfect seat. What's this guy's name? Jackson. Hi, Jackson. You look like a happy pooch. Oh, he's made my life so much. That's really cool. And this is really cool. Nat, are you excited for the palm party? I am excited. It's a good excuse to get everything ready, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. It looks great. Loving, loving, loving coming out and hanging out and seeing how my customers showcase living the aquascape lifestyle for their customers. And when I'm in town, it's a good excuse to get together. And oh, man, that looks good. And have a party. Oh, look at those shrimp. This is not bad. After, during. <laughs> I could not get any nicer than this. And my butt is going to be sitting right here next to this aquascape fire rock with my plate of food enjoying this atmosphere right here see what i say i love my job Saturdays and some of them on Sunday morning after we've had three or four days of rain to go out and check y'all's ponds go clean things up make sure that the ponds were perfect for vlogging all the while that they had to come and make sure our house was ready and everything you see here and I don't think I ever once in the rain with their rain jackets on ever heard them complain so I just wanted to say thank you all for your hard work and this is my family this is part of our family this is who we are amen So we're back at Virginia Water Gardens. It is one of the most beautiful design inspiration garden centers that I have ever been able to visit. And uh, last night we were here having a party with all of the people that we got to visit with during the day. And of course, Charlie's amazing team. But instead of me going and showing you his paradise, I'm gonna let Charlie walk you around. Plus, I don't like to listen to myself talk. I'd rather hear the actual entrepreneurs who are living the dream showcase what they do and how they do it. Check out the Virginia Water Gardens Design and Inspiration Center and Retail Store. Get in 
in the shop before, right, Charlie? Once or twice. So this yeah. is Nett's domain. She this lets is, you in every once in a while, this huh? This is her domain, <laughs> and out there is her domain, the truth be known. So it's not actually a very big footprint, but you do a lot of business out of here. It's 900 square feet. We have our showroom here. We have two offices and a restaurant. There's approximately 900 square feet here, a small space. Our showroom is outdoors, so uh, most of what we do is outside. We would love to have a larger space, but that's okay. This works because the majority of it is right out here. Our fish, our aquatic plants, our display gardens. I like to call it our outdoor showroom. We have been here for approximately 17 years. When we first moved here, everything you see was not here with the exception of the large trees. You could not even tell there was a fence over here for the simple reason it had been so grown up. You could not tell there was a fence here. In fact, the first time we came here to this property, we'd been looking for a couple years. We pulled up to the parking lot, and I'll show you that in a minute. And I said no to my wife. She had found it and told Nana, said, no, it's too this, it's too that, it's too small, it's too junky. It's... She convinced me to come back the following Sunday. We pulled up about where my truck is parked over there, where our new building is, and we stopped. And I looked over at her. She had gotten the keys so we could come up into the drive. And I said, this is perfect. It has a fence. It has a building. There's a slope so from the very back of our property it's a little over an acre and a half it slopes all the way down to the road so it's perfect for a pond builder we have a natural slope hence our waterfalls are all facing towards route one this was one of the first projects that we built Brian Helferts from aquascapes came out and helped us with this project it was a build a pond day we had about 40 people here we built this believe it or not this pond including the 60 foot long stream and waterfall in a little over two days in fact it was two days we spent Spruced it up the third day, cleaned things up, but the water was running in two days. One of my favorite waterfalls right there. I don't like all sheet waterfalls. This is natural, like nature has cut, that water has cut through there over time. One of my favorite spots here is where we gather for our meetings. We'll have lunches here as well. This also is where people become mesmerized. So you have that moving water and the sound. I love the deep stream here. This pond has been here in most of the water features. Some of them we have redone over the years, but this particular one has been here for almost 16 years, 17 years. So I always like to say a water feature a pond is like a bottle of wine. I'm not a big wine drinker, but I have heard it said that the older it gets, the better it is. The older this water feature gets, the more it matures, the perennials, the plants around it, and that naturalizes it. I think this was probably the second water feature we built. We call this the moat. It's about a fourth of our building. We had a drainage situation. And the ground was a lot lower there. So I said, hey, let's build a pond. So that's exactly what we did. Started digging about halfway through. Through. For those of y'all wondering how in the world can you build a pond right up against the foundation of the building, I was probably about in this spot right here when I decided maybe I should call the tech department out in Chicago. When I did, I called Aquascape. Before I had finished my question, the gentleman on the other end said, Charlie, he said, the hydrostatic pressure from the clay and the water holding the clay in Virginia is more pressure than the water up against the building. Kind of cool to be able to open the windows here. If the screen's not there, you can simply open them windows and feed the fish. This is what we call an infinity edge. Blows off. Not quite like the blue water you see in the Caribbean from the pool, but hence it is still an infinity edge. This fish is the stump of a tree that came from the Amazon. Very unique. Fits right in with the decor here. So when we first bought this building and this property, I mentioned to you, I, we couldn't even tell there was a fence there. We also had a lot of birds, which sure, it's a wooded area, right? But the problem is there were bird nests inside and a shower, so in the bathroom. So we removed all of that. But as I look back and as I walk through here, there's, I always say there's a little over 20 water features here. I haven't counted them lately, but that's my guess. We have ponds, pondless waterfalls, fountainscapes, tons of different things to look at here. One of my favorite trees right here, they call it a patio peach is the common name. We have small ponds, large ponds, it's May here in Virginia. Mother's Day was just this past Sunday. And I always know that Mother's Day is getting close if I'm not looking at my calendar because these Louisiana irises bloom every Mother's Day. One of our new car fountains here. A large selection of aquatic plants always in the growing season. I think we have some of these inside. It was a little chilly last night, so we had these covered up. More tender tropicals are inside our fitting center. I call it the fitting center because inside this building is tons of fittings. And my goal was to have have a fitting for just about anything that you could imagine for any type of fountain we would have a fitting for it because that is always a challenge if you're missing the fitting you can't start the pump pondless waterfalls small pond is here 
there again. A lot of the aquatic plants are invasive. That's okay, that's why we put them in pots. This particular is called a shamrock. Terribly invasive, but it, I love the way it naturalizes the edge of the pond. I remember hearing Brian help which always say that, and Greg says it as well, is that it's really cool when you cannot see where the edge of the stream or the pond ends or it begins. We have a little over an acre and a half here. We're in Fredericksburg, Virginia, about 38 miles to 40 miles south of our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. You hear a little road noise down the down towards the road now. This is a pondless waterfall, and we have another smaller water feature here as well. We're open here year-round, with the exception of Christmas. We shut down for about two and a half weeks, come back after the new year, and closed on Sundays, just like Chick-fil-A. I figured if they could do it, I could. Plus, my wife said we weren't going to be open on Sundays, so I said, yes, I am. I think it was a good idea, and it was wise. Another patio beach, just a, a different variety. has a crimson color, similar to a red maple. Small, medium, and large ponds. You'll find something here. Fountainscapes, a marine water exchange here. Every single drop of water that comes off the roof of this building falls down in this rain exchange. The water comes from right over under the patio, or the walkway there, and part of it goes right up to this vent under the stream. We have a total of 1,600 gallons that's collected there, and it is full. We just had over three days of rain, and so that's cool, and we use that to top off the water feature and use that for irrigation as well. So we also have a variety of fish here. We have a new large, these are some eight to 10 inch. Beautiful koi here, there's some more koi here. Then we have some smaller butterfly koi. Of course, we also have some of the comets and your common goldfish as well. 